Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Are you looking for a solid state drive that provides excellent performance but at an unbeatable price? Do you want a large capacity SSD for your programs, your games, your apps, general storage without breaking the bank? You've come to the right place. This is the ADATA SU650 Ultimate Solid State Drive. It's not ultimate due to its performance. It is not as fast as the SU800 from ADATA or the Samsung 860 EVO, but it is less expensive on a per gigabyte basis, between $20 and $40 less expensive at the one terabyte size, and about $15 to $20 less expensive at the 500 gig size. Now I've installed this drive in my $1,000 Ryzen 5 2600 build here, and I've got some benchmarks I'll put up on the screen. But benchmarks aren't everything. Actually using it, running programs and games and updating games are equally as important. And I have been using this drive in this machine. World of Tanks, League of Legends, the Fallout 76 beta, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and other games have been installed on this drive. I've updated those programs and I've run and tested them. So I've actually spent some time playing with it and using it to get a feel for how it performs compared to, say, some of the, quote, faster drives on the market. Now, from a boot drive perspective, in a super premium machine, it's probably not the right choice. If you have a Ryzen 7 or an i7, if you have a $1,500 plus dollar machine, then from a boot drive perspective, yeah, you should go with one of the flagship drives, if not an NVMe, NVMe option. But for a secondary drive in such a system, or even the boot drive in a, say, six, seven, eight hundred dollar build, maybe up to a thousand dollar build, I think it's a respectable choice. It's less expensive, and in the real world, the performance isn't that different to the big drives, especially if you're not doing really intensive tasks, such as updating three or four programs at once or doing extended long drive writes. If you're just using your computer normally, in the real world, there's not as much difference as you might think between these different models. One question that frequently comes up whenever I talk about SSDs is, well, what about warranty and what about drive life? Don't SSDs have like a limited life? You can only write to them so many times. Yes, but that's not really a concern. I have a lot of SSDs that I've used over many, many years. I have still on my shelf good SSDs that are eight years old. You're not going to wear out these drives unless you intentionally try to destroy them. But since people want to know the numbers, I'll cover them briefly. ADATA's drives both have a three-year warranty. Samsung's drives have a five-year warranty. But there's something interesting. It's a five-year warranty or 300 terabytes total data written, whichever comes first. That's at the 500 gig size. The SU650, the value drive from ADATA, is three years or 280 terabytes total drive writes. That's only 20 terabytes less than the flagship model from Samsung in the SATA world. Well, not counting the Pro, but that's a separate conversation. So in terms of total drive write endurance, they're very close. The ADATA SU800 is 400 terabytes total written at the 500 gig size. It's actually 25% more drive rating, even though it's a shorter warranty, than the Samsung 860 EVO. The reality is all these numbers are conservative. You may very well likely get 600, 700 plus terabytes written before these drives, quote, actually fail. Now, some will fail sooner than others because it's not an absolute. That's just what the warranty is. So they're guaranteeing you'll get at least that much. The highest drive write that a uh, drive that I have in my inventory that wasn't used in a customer's machine, I had in daily active use for four years as a primary boot drive. That drive has 137 terabytes written to it and it's at this point over five years old. Unless you intentionally try to destroy these, you will not run out their drive right before they become basically obsolete. They're just not useful in terms of size or speed or whatever. As far as the warranty goes, they're solid state devices, three years, five years, I guess if you think that's worth something to you, that's fine. If the drive works for a week, it'll work forever in a normal user environment. So if you're curious about the endurance of these drives, even ADATA's value drive is basically rated to essentially the same drive write endurance as Samsung's flagship. 
Coming back around to performance again, as I mentioned, I have this drive installed in this machine. I've actually been using it and it performs just fine. There's no perceptible difference in terms of game launch times, game performance time, game update time versus any of the other SATA SSDs that I've used. And frankly, when it comes to game performance and game updating and launching performance, the difference between SATA and NVMe isn't huge either. The most important thing is not to be using a hard drive. Hard drives are awful in 2018. And if you can all avoid using a hard drive, even for your games, it's a much nicer experience. Now I'm going to put the benchmarks back up here. On the top here is the ADATA SU650. And on the bottom is the Samsung 860 EVO. Now, as you can see by some of these numbers, the Samsung is faster. Take a look at the read speed, the 4K random 1K, uh, one thread, one Q depth read speed is about 44 megabytes per second on the Samsung drive and just over 30 megabytes per second on the SU650. Now you might look at these numbers and go, well, wow, the Samsung's almost 50% faster. It must be a much better drive. Yes and no. Look at the rest of the numbers. They're not as far apart as that one indicator would indicate. And in the real world with various sequential and random accesses and the fact that the computer has to do some processing, load game levels, uh, decompress the files, etc., there's more going on than just a benchmark. The real world perceptible difference in running games between these two drives is not large. Let me put another benchmark right here for you. That is a two terabyte Seagate 7200 RPM three and a half inch desktop hard drive. That's a performance Barracuda drive, not a laptop drive, not a cheap drive. That's a nice 7200 RPM performance drive. Do I even need to read the numbers? Now the sequential looks nice, but sequential is copying files and that's copying very large files in one chunk from one drive to another. Take a look at the random, the bottom three lines, ignoring the sequential for a minute and compare that to the numbers on the two SSDs. Either one of these SSDs is such an improvement over a mechanical hard drive when it comes to random reads and random writes, there's just nothing to discuss. And so if you're looking at value for the money, I'd like to point out that if you've got a large Steam library or Origin library or you're downloading, you know, games are getting quite big these days, the one terabyte 650 is 129 at the moment versus nearly 170 for the one terabyte 860 EVO. That's a fairly substantial price difference. And that might mean that you can afford to get the one terabyte SU650, whereas you might bulk a bit at the price of the 860 EVO. Now links to everything will be down in the description below to Amazon and Newegg, prices change all the time. And of course, with all due respect to ADATA, if by chance on the day you watch this video, the 860 EVO is basically the same price as an SU650, well, yes, of course, you should buy the, the Samsung, it makes more sense. But most likely, there will be a fairly decent price delta between these drives. For myself, for a $1,500 plus machine, I would not use the SU650 as a boot drive. I would use it as a game drive. And I will, I'm actually gonna leave it into this machine. It's gonna be the game drive for all the testing and benchmarking that I do on the Ryzen 5 2600 build. It's a nice solid drive. It's got very good respectable performance. And when it came to downloading updates for games, World of Tanks, League of Legends, etc., it didn't feel any slower or any different than any of the other machines with all the other very nice SSDs I have on them either. So from that point of view, you're getting more for your money and that's a good thing. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below and hit that bell notification icon next to it to be notified when all my new videos come out. If you like this content, you wanna support the channel, hit the join button that may be next to the subscribe button depending on which country you're in to provide direct support to the channel. Questions, comments, thoughts, queries, posers down in the comments section below and check the links in the video description. Links to Amazon and Newegg for all the drives I mentioned here. Those are our affiliate links. They support the channel, please consider using those when shopping. It really does help. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.